Hi there. Let's take a look at the compliance record module for the Sienna ND processing engine. I have the Sienna ND processing engine up and running, and I'm going to use our compliance record module to record a couple of NDI sources into MP4 files with AAC audio. This module performs a continual recording, which can be set to break recordings into chunks of whatever time period you'd like. And you can even integrate these files with a MAM system by sending a check-in message. And as each chunk is broken off, it will be checked into your MAM automatically. In here, we can choose from a couple of format presets. We can also set the record destination. This is our destination folder. We can also give the recordings a base name. And we can add metadata. And we can set the duration of each recorded segment. Normally you might want, say, an hour, but for demo purposes, we're setting it to just 10 seconds. I've got a couple of sources here, just some signal generators, but these would be your NDI sources. Now we just wire the connections up and set them going. These will record continuously, and there's a status monitor in the processing engine hypervisor that keeps an eye on your recordings. So should a module fail, the monitor will automatically restart the recording for you. What we're also doing here in this top module is a window burn. And uh, up here you can see the recordings turning over, date and time in the names. And if we look at this top module, BBC One, we have a record off air in MP4 with AAC audio and a burnt in timestamp. If we look at this other recording, it's a two megabit and no window burn. Our compliance record module is light on CPU, so this means you can record lots of channels using just one box. As you can see, all of the recordings are continually coming in. You can set as many NDI sources as you want to record, and we have other tools such as NDI Source Maxi, where you can have up to 32 channels of baseband converting to NDI in just one box. So if you have lots of sources to record, we have the tools to get the baseband into NDI. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, jump over to www.sienna.tv forward slash NDI, where you'll find more information. Cheerio.